Good afternoon, Howard Wig, Code Green, Think Tech Hawaii, Luxury Princeville Affordable Green Housing. Isn't that an oxymoron? Absolutely, positively not. I have great pleasure in having as my guest this afternoon Tom DeGroote, Project Manager for Unlimited Construction Services. And they pulled off something that I would have found very, very unlikely. Affordable housing in Princeville on Kauai. I think when we all take an image of any new construction there, we're thinking, well, maybe the Donald needs a fourth or fifth or sixth home. He'll build something there. But, you know, the people who work at Princeville, they're not uh, the highest income people. And all of those who are familiar with Kauai know you're going to have to commute generally a very long way to get from your humble home to Princeville and all the way back again. It sounds like half of your paycheck would be taken by the gas bill. So what a concept. Let's get some affordable housing in Princeville. So it gives me great pleasure to bring Tom DeGroote to the table here. Well, welcome, Tom. Hey, well, thank you very much for having me here. And like you explained, you know, that drive, it, mm -hmm. it's a long drive for a lot of employees in Princeville. You know, they're working at the resorts and they they can't really afford living up around Princeville in mm -hmm. that area. Mm -hmm. It's very expensive for rent up yep. there. And you're commuting from Lahui, could be Poipu, you know, even the west side, people mm -hmm. driving. Mm -hmm. And with Kolapua, I know it's been in the development for about 30 years. They talked Ooh, about they talked having about affordable yeah. workforce um, housing in the Princeville area for the workers. And Kolapua is dedicated to those workers. Mm -hmm. You have to work mm -hmm. in Princeville, first of all, mm -hmm. uh, to get into Kolapua. And next, it opens up to Hanalei and also Kilauea. Mm -hmm. And it, it was so badly needed, these houses, it, they're rental apartments, but it was so badly needed within three weeks, mm -hmm. it was 100% full. I believe that. Yeah. Yeah. It was just amazing yeah. how fast that went. If you'd put it out in advance, you probably would have had this great big waiting list. Uh, there was. Yeah. There was. Yeah. People yeah. were coming. They first time they saw us digging, they were asking, when can they mm -hmm. get on the waiting mm -hmm. list? So mm -hmm. It is badly needed, and more is actually needed up there. There's a substantial amount of people have to commute. Absolutely. You can't live yeah. up there. You yeah. know? You and, and again, can't. these are not high-income people. No. And you gas, know. especially on Kauai, is not cheap. Gas yeah. and housing, you mm -hmm. know, you, mm -hmm. you figure for a three-bedroom, you're going to pay three grand a month for yeah. living up in Princeville mm -hmm. area. And here they had the opportunity you know, we built 16 one-bedroom, 16 two-bedroom, and 12 three-bedroom. And, you know, the, the rent is, I think the one-bedroom is 850, the two-bedrooms 1100, and the three-bedrooms 1300. Now, that's, that's very affordable. affordable, yeah. And ju just a bit of uh, background, the name of the uh, development up there is Kolopua, and the way I saw it was the BIA, the Building Industry Association, has an annual gala called the Renaissance Fair. And in that event, they give prizes for the best of the best of the best of housing built that year. And I happen to be the energy efficiency judge. And I took a look at this project and said it has all the green features and it's affordable and it's in Princeville, woo! So I had no problem giving it an award. So I, I met uh, your principals at, at the gala. Why don't we take a, a look at the first slide where the, there we have a construction project. Yeah, so obviously it's, it's wood uh, construction. I see the hurricane clips there. Uh, there's lots and lots of hurricane clips. Yes, yes. I had mm -hmm. to over-engineer it because um, uh, you'll get into it further, but there's a lot of light, a lot of windows. Mm -hmm. So you don't mm -hmm. really need that much lighting in there. Mm -hmm. And uh, it had to be really reinforced yeah. extra. And uh, the more windows you have, the healthier your building is because we human beings 
we're evolved in the great outdoors, the, the, the extent that we can continue to commune with the great outdoors, the healthier we are and the happier we are. So why don't we go on to the uh, next slide here and get an overview of it. This, yeah, this is a pretty good uh, sketch of the whole thing. What, what's uh, going on here? Well, you're standing in the parking lot and we're looking up towards, on the right hand side are the one bedroom units. Uh, the middle is a one bedroom and the, the left hand side, those are three bedroom units. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, uh, they were designed, they have the sun shades over the, the windows to help keep on the, the cooling. Mm -hmm. um, your, the siding is hardy panel. Uh, it's a cement composition board that was already colored so we didn't have to use any paint uh, to paint the exterior. It came like that. Mm -hmm. And I think it's uh, pretty well weather resistant and more specifically oh, salt, yeah. salt uh, air resistant. Very, very important since you're not all that far from the sea. Yes, yeah. and that was another reason why it was really over-engineered because we were within one mile of the radius from the ocean mm -hmm. and that put us into a higher um, standard of building. Yeah, you, you and I have both seen in new, some new construction as little as one year, certainly two years after construction, you're going to see all the, this corrosion going on. So you, you probably had vinyl panels around the, the windows or? Uh, the windows were vinyl. Yeah. Uh, they were flashed, of course. Mm -hmm. um, stainless steel nails were used for all the trim. Mm -hmm. uh, and the siding is blind nailed, so uh, moisture won't get to that. Uh, of course, you had your Tyvek, too, that helps mm -hmm. with the um, weather well, moisture resistance. Moisture control, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Well, let's take, a, if we can take a, another look at that same slide. You touched something near and dear to my heart. Namely, the overhangs that you mentioned, you see where there's a considerable, the, the roof goes over the building considerably, and this is a good shot because it shows a lot of the shading. Oh, and I see there's eyebrows over the, the uh, windows also. Yeah, the sun shades, that's what mm -hmm. I was mentioning. Uh, 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 that helped with the, the lead aspect too. Yeah, yeah, L lead being leadership and energy and environmental design. So is this a LEED certified uh, project? Or LEED Platinum. Lead, LEED Platinum. Yes, we got Platinum. Oh, wow. We went and they were shooting good. for gold, but we got Platinum out of it. Well, something again near and dear to my heart, those eyebrows over the windows, and then there's a considerable overhang from the roof itself. If you were to take a temperature reading of the gray wall, say at two in the afternoon on a very sunny day, you would get, you would get up, certainly up to 130 degrees on that gray wall because it's somewhat absorbent. And then if you shot the shaded portion up above there, you would go down to way under 100, uh, probably not, maybe 95 degrees. Shading is so important in Hawaii, I'm the energy codes guy, and we built in shading to our, our new energy codes, and this is just a perfect, perfect uh, example of that. Any other lead type aspects we can see from, from this shot here? Oh, I imagine the windows are probably high performance. Yes, the windows, they yeah. are. Yeah. And um, I know on the interior you have uh, insulation through all the wall, exterior mm -hmm. walls, mm -hmm. and the roof has insulation in it too as well. Was that the spray foam or fiberglass or? Uh, it's just the, the roll. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, well let, let's move on to the next uh, slide then. This is, I had forgotten this was lead platinum. Yes. You so, see all the lighting, the exterior mm -hmm. lighting is 100% LED and mm -hmm. there aren't timers so people just can't turn them off and turn them on. Mm -hmm. uh, even their porch light that's on the same timer as the site lighting, mm -hmm. which again is LED. And you know, if I know anything about LED porch lights, they could be as little as 10 watts. Yeah, they are. Yep, yep. And then how about the, the pole lighting there? We can't quite see it from here, but. Uh, I wanna say that I'm thinking the pole lighting was 75 watts. Mm -hmm. but 
I can't give you a definitive on that one. And, and that the bollards, yeah. the little bollards there, mm -hmm. those were 25 watts. Yeah, and for those of you not in the know, that, that little pillar looking thing, that's, that's a bollard. And it has a light in it, and I can, it has a lid on it also, so that the light is directed down onto the pathway exactly where you need it instead of being directed uh, up in, into the heavens to. Well, number one is bad vis visual acuity, and number two, you're, you're wasting, uh, wasting energy there. And again, I love the, the shading that these, these overhangs uh, give here. Yeah, they were nitrotypical three foot. They were three foot six mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. w wider um, overhang. Yeah, yeah, it just makes a ton of difference. Uh, a lot of the heat gain that we get from both homes and buildings in Hawaii is because of the lack of overhangs where you get that direct solar radiation on the walls. And again, I've shot with, with a, a heat gun some of those walls, especially dark color, I've, I've gotten 140 degrees <laughs> on the, the really exposed. Interior up. Yeah. And so you reduce, just by the shading, you reduce the exterior wall temperature by easily 30 degrees. So that, that's definitely one reason why, why you got to uh, lead there. Let's, let's take a look at another uh, shot here. Yeah. This, this is very similar to Anything new we're seeing here? Yeah, I, I see more on the right there. I see even more of an overhang there. I know a lot of the plants, the mm -hmm. landscaping mm -hmm. was based after Hawaiian uh, culture. And there's like a little garden in the front. Mm -hmm. uh, the tenants, could, there's taro and there is sweet potatoes. And there's also uh, breadfruit trees all around the property. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you ever had a breadfruit pancake, it's pretty good. Yes, yes, or they make uh, potato Hello. chips with breadfruit, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and uh, I have a lot of uh, Samoan and Hawaiian friends, and I have a breadfruit tree. And they, when the season comes around, hey, Howard, how's that tree doing? How's that tree doing? <laughs> yeah, just I'm very, very happy to give away all that. So when they mature, they're going to be made very, very good uh, use of. And it... it it's a very high nutrient. Yes. But on that uh, cheery note, we need to take a break. Think Tech Hawaii, Howard Wig, Code Green, back in a minute. Looking to energize your Friday afternoon? Tune in to Stand the Energy Man at 12 noon. Aloha Friday here on Think Tech Hawaii. Aloha. My name is Richard Emery, and I host Condo Insider. We talk about issues facing the Condo Association throughout Hawaii and talk about solutions. When you think about it, about one third of our population lives in some form of common interest real estate. We broadcast every Thursday at 3 p.m. Please tune in. Tune in and thank you. Aloha. Aloha, everyone. I hope you've been watching Think Tech Hawaii. But I'm here to invite you to watch me on Viva Hawaii every Monday at 3 p.m. I'm waiting for you. Mahalo. Hello, this is Martin Despang. I want to get you get excited about my new show, which is Humane Architecture for Hawaii and Beyond. We're going to broadcast on Tuesdays, 5 p.m. here on uh, Think Tech Hawaii. Hey, look at this. Go. Good afternoon again. Howard Wig, Code Green. I have as my honored guest, Tom DeGroot, Project Manager for Unlimited Construction Services and again, in my humble opinion, they pulled off something resembling a miracle, affordable housing in Princeville, and something that I'd forgotten. They achieved the whole thing and got lead platinum. There are not that many lead platinum projects, residential or commercial, in the entire United States of America. So. This is about as green as you're ever going to get. And it's affordable. And as we discussed earlier, it's for the workers on the north shore of Kauai there. Why don't we bring up uh, another uh, slide here? Okay, the, is that the bread? No, that's not the breadfruit no, tree coming up there. Yeah. 
but the jealousies are right in the front. Oh, there. okay, jealousy windows. Uh, again, I'm the energy codes guy for the state, and something that uh, we wrote in to the code, unique in the nation, is provision for jealousy windows. They wouldn't, they, if you follow the mainland code, you can't have it because they have too much air leakage and you try to make the home very, very tight. But in Hawaii, we want to make the home very, very loose. And the advantage of jealousies are, of course, that they can be opened and closed at will. And uh, for those of us who go back here a uh, ways, we remember the old jealousy windows that were very, very easy to uh, break into. There was a couple of friends' houses. They weren't home when I thought they would be. I didn't have a key, and I'd just go into the back and unloosen yeah. some windows and <laughs> crawl, crawl Get in, in pretty easily. Yeah. That's true. But the new uh, brand of jealousies are much, much, much more uh, bur burglar-proof, and they're much stronger than the uh, uh, yeah, old jealousies. Yeah, you can jealousy. lock them down better, that's for yeah. sure. Yeah. So if, the, if there's too much breeze blowing, you close them down. When you need the breeze, you open them up. And because they're pretty gosh darn safe, I would say that most people would feel very comfortable letting the jealousies be open as, as when you uh, sleep at night. And I assume that there's no, no air conditioning in these. No, there's yeah. no air conditioning, but mm -hmm. the bedrooms do have uh, fans and the living rooms do have fans in mm -hmm. them. And that's another thing we built into the code. It's if uh, you, you've, you've built to the code that we're still, we have yet to formally uh, adopt. And I would say, point out that fans can reduce your perceived temperature by up to 12 degrees. If it's a really, really hot, muggy Kona day, you get that, you turn your fan to medium or even high, and you absolutely feel cool. Yes. And this is something I've been uh, really discussing with the Department of Energy, or Department of Education. You don't need to air condition all classrooms. Many, yes, but many will go get by very, very easily with fans, much cheaper to install, and the energy use is almost nothing. Yeah. And unlike air conditioners, they're not going to break down after five, six, uh, se seven yeah. years. The maintenance is much yeah. cheaper. Yeah. For, and the, the new fans are made out of uh, composite materials. Does that include your fans? Do you know? Uh, uh, no. These are just your typical ceiling typical. fans. Mm -hmm. uh, but they do have very, very long lives now. I, I know the bearings are much better and the lubricant is, is sealed in there. And we're, our technological improvements are just so drastic Advancing. these days. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So what, why don't we take a look at another slide here. Oh, what in the world is all this about now? Hmm. Or, or is this just a fancy uh, photo here? Uh, no, no, it didn't look like that this morning. Hmm. But I think yeah. we're getting a better view of, you can see the sunshades mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. how they're on the uh, south east and west exposures. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, speaking of which, orientation, were you able to orient, so a lot of windows towards the north by any chance, or? Uh, or? Towards the south, they had towards a lot of windows. Mm -hmm. Oh, because south, can you get a view of the sea from these? Uh, if you not stand really, on no. your tippy toes on the roof. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. but, but you do have a beautiful view mm -hmm. of um, the Nepali, um, the, uh, the, the poly The mountains, yeah. 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 It's so, beautiful because mm -hmm. you're right across the street from where the tourists go to, for the lookout. Oh, and you can see the taro okay. farms and everything below. Mm -hmm. so it's really, it's a beautiful yeah. location they are in. So, so they have a millionaire's view at affordable prices. They have prices. a very great view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah and again, I, this is a really clear uh, photo of the... Uh, the sunscreens and looks like we've got more uh, land. Oh, is that a barbecue thing? Yeah, there? there's yeah. two little areas for the residents that could mm -hmm. barbecue, mm -hmm. and again, you can do it at nighttime too because you have the uh, LED sight lighting. Yeah, yeah, and again, the uh, the the eyebrows or the sunscreens are are just on the east, west, and south faces because you you don't need them on on the north, the north. because you get no direct. Uh, solar radiation. There. You can see how well they're shading. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That yeah. upper window oh. there is 
mm -hmm. completely totally, covered on these. Totally shaded, yeah. How about the lower windows? I see some kind of uh, shading over them. There is on the lower, on the right hand side, which is, or excuse me, the left hand side. There's a sunshade on the right hand side. What you're seeing is that is the uh, electrical meter closet, mm -hmm. and there is a little roof over that, so it's acting like the same purpose as a sunshade. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And all of the units are uh, townhomes. I'm gathering some two homes to a unit and some three or four or yeah well there's four mm -hmm. so you have one two one two mm. oh 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 there's upstairs, upstairs downstairs, downstairs. I yeah see, i see i see i see yeah what what is the uh, square footage do you remember you, you yes, said you had studios I do. one and two uh, bedrooms, the yeah. one bedroom is 676 square feet, mm -hmm. so it's a pretty good size for a one bedroom. Mm -hmm. uh, the two bedroom is 875, and the three bedroom is 1100. Mm -hmm. And I just read an article, and yeah, I've had considerable nice. discussions about the needed size of living spaces. And for the longest time, in my opinion, of course, I'm slightly prejudiced, we had too gosh darn much square footage. Mm -hmm. We were talking about the fact that, especially on the mainland, you have you know, 3,000, 3,500 square feet. And that includes, of course, a large living room. And everyone I talk to says the living room has nothing to do with living. <laughs> it's kind of serving as a museum. It's the, your ancestral furniture from your mom or dad or grandparents or whatever and it's all carefully arranged and it sits there and looks pretty and <laughs> oh, no, most, nobody goes in so these smaller sizes including for families are, are fine and we are much better at being able to construct storage places and all that these, these days to make the room feel more home homemade. Uh, I can remember my grandma had, you know, they had the formal dining room, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. Jonah used it Thanksgiving and Christmas. Yep, 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 same, same here. Yeah. So, we're getting out of time. Here's an interior shot. Yeah. Uh, let me guess, everything is, if you, looks like, is that a gas stove or a... Uh, no, that is an electric, but they mm -hmm. are all Energy Star rated. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Every uh, appliance and uh, even the fans, the exhaust fans in the bathrooms mm -hmm, are Energy mm -hmm. Star rated too. And we gave them some upgrades. I don't know, you can't really see, but those are granite countertops. Really? It's mm. granite countertops. My goodness, they, they had to pay a couple extra dollars for that. No, right? we no. did it at uh, what we were, our budget was. Wow. And it was, there was a lot of VE in for this project to get it into budget, but mm -hmm. that's something that we wow. uh, take pride in doing yeah, on that v one. VE being value engineering, and in the old days, those nasty value engineers used to say, oh, that efficiency stuff, we don't need that. Got to have a granite countertop instead. But uh, <laughs> good, so you, you squeeze that in. So people get a, a feeling of uh, luxury interior in addition to the uh, exterior. Yeah, and the, I don't have a picture of the restrooms, but the restroom, the, the water closet or the toilet, uh, it's a dual flush. Mm -hmm. So that saves on, uh, you know, your water bill or your water mm -hmm. consumption. Mm -hmm. And the shower heads are all 1.75 gallons per minute mm -hmm. shower heads. And, and the, again... The faucets the, are probably 0 0.9 or 1.0 or... It's very low, I know, mm -hmm. on the volume. Yeah. And even the water heater, that was an Energy Star rated too. Hmm. So. Th that's an electric water heater? It's electric. Why? How come no solar up on the roof? They're going to put solar, but mm -hmm. it wasn't in the budget right mm -hmm. then. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. the solar, it's kind of pricey, so. Yeah, I, oh, but I... That, or are you talking I, about I, the so, solar, solar water? water. Yeah. Um, I think, again, that was a budget-driven mm -hmm. issue. There is a... a solar water on the community center, which you'll see mm -hmm. a picture of here. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, so you made platinum even with the electric water heaters. That's, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a, a 0.97 efficiency rating, <laughs> I guarantee that. And there's uh, the community center. Yeah, so yeah, there's, there's your solar water heating, and you've got a metal roof on that, and it looks like a dark roof. Well, it is dark, but my guess is that it's probably permeated with something like titanium dioxide so that you get 
a high reflectivity, heat, heat reflectance, mm -hmm. even uh, though, though it looks like it's, it's an absorptive uh, material. That, that's just my guess. I, 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 I couldn't I answer that. that. Yeah, yeah. So what, uh, what else is going in the, on in the community center there? Well, there's a laundry in there, and there's also free Wi-Fi for the residents. They could go sit there, and mm -hmm. if they have to do research or uh, just pass the time away while doing their laundry, mm -hmm. uh, they mm -hmm. have that luxury. And mm -hmm. um, it's staffed uh, Monday through Friday, and then Saturdays, uh, Monday through Friday, 9 till I think six o'clock, and then Saturday it's from noon until five o'clock. And what does uh, how how does the staff serve serve the residents there? Um, well, they're the property manager, mm -hmm. and you know they'll go around and they'll fix whatever problems uh, that might occur. Mm -hmm. um, they'll collect the rent, and mm -hmm. oh. you know just mm -hmm. probably someone to talk to at times too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that was added amenity. Again, this is all for, you know, property managers don't come cheap. Well, and they're not that expensive, but you have to pay them and you still are able to keep the rents way, way At down. At affordable this is, rate. This is just really astounding stuff, yeah. Anything else you can think about that we didn't cover that uh, got you to lead platinum? Lead platinum is really exceptional. Well, I know all the penetrations, um, they were either fire caulked or they were acoustical um, caulked, mm -hmm. wood caulking. And um, the electric pad, all the receptacles, those were wrapped as well to mm -hmm. keep out um, you know, any drafts or anything between mm -hmm. the buildings. Mm -hmm. and. Um, all the paint was low VOC paint, yep, yep. you know that. And all the adhesives that were used in it were again low VOC. Mm -hmm. And um, which, which means incidentally that there are no toxic gases coming off of it, so you're utterly, totally safe. On the mainland, you have some pretty unhealthy interior uh, air issues, but uh, because this is Hawaii and because you've opened up with the jealousies and used all these safe materials, you, you've got almost zero impact of uh, any sort of air quality, indoor air quality considerations. That, that's my guess. I would agree with you 100%. Mm -hmm. There's a great breeze up there. Yep. Because yep. you're set, you're up. You know, you're yeah, not down yeah. in a gully or anything. So. And you're, yeah, you, you've designed for that uh, microclimate. And on that cheery note, we're just getting warmed up, but we must leave. Thank you so much, Tom the Groot, project manager for Unlimited Construction Services. This was an exceptional project. I, I hope you get some national awards out of this. Well, you know, you never know. Yeah. Maybe your TV exposure will do that for mm -hmm. us. <laughs> Thank you.